Hi folks, Max from GalaxyS2.com for this week's Round of the Week. Check out Carbon Rum. Uh, the latest version is based on Android 4.4.4. I really like it. Uh, let me go ahead and show you here. Um, you'll find full the latest Android 4.4.4, of course. And also, um, you can get two cameras working. If you use a micro G apps provided, it will install the AOSP camera. Once your ROM has been installed, go ahead and install Google Camera. Then you can enjoy the best of both worlds. Um, AOSP camera working flawless out of the box, uh, which I really like. There's no dithering like the older versions um, with, I believe, Android, the latest 4.4.4 sources. Um, some of those have been fixed, um, so you'll get a flawless camera without any kind of dithering and stuff. And it doesn't like to focus that well, I believe, because my camera's dirty. Um, there we go. Yeah, it's working fine now. Uh, my camera was very, very dirty. There we go. Uh, working flawless. Um, also, let me go ahead and show you the Google camera also working very nice. There we go. Uh, recording videos. Um, taking photos while taking video does not work. Uh, th I believe that's a hardware limitation on this phone. And camera working just fine there. And there we go. Um, also, you do have panorama, photosphere, lens, blur you can play with. Um, so very good stuff. And uh, other than that, um, you'll get a ton of customization. Um, probably for those of you who've used Carbon ROM and other similar AOSP ROMs, you can probably skip this, but I'm going to go ahead and go over it. Um, go over some of it uh, for those of you new to it. You can make everything dark, by the way, here, dark carbon. Um, AMOLED screen on the Galaxy S2 saves battery life when everything's black versus grayer. Um, so it does save battery life. Uh, let's go ahead and go to buttons here. Um, you can customize your button actions for your back key, home key. Um, you can set for normal, long press, and double tap for all of your four keys. And uh, make it into 16 shortcuts instead of just four, uh, which is nice. Device tunables. Um, not too much to see here, but you can go ahead and um, adjust your screen, uh, t your touch sensitivity, your sensors. And let's go into interface here. Uh, CRT animation, um, if you want to change that, you can have it collapse vertically. There we go. Sort of like having a TV vertically there. Uh, power saving mode, now this is sort of nice. You can go ahead and use this. Uh, and set the time when you want everything to kind of turn off um, to save battery life. Um, you can even switch it to uh, 2G if you want, disable your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all that good stuff. I usually actually use this um, uh, when I go to sleep most of the days. And recent panel, um, you can change your recent all button. Right now it's on bottom, bottom left, bottom right, uh, which is I like it, but you can go ahead and set it to bottom left. Uh, if you are left-handed or you just simply want to put it there. Um, so very good stuff here. Uh, some of the stuff with lock screen. Um, this ROM does have lock screen notifications enabled out of the box, which is really nice. Uh, and also you can um, enable active display. Uh, this is sort of similar to lock screen notifications. I don't use it much. Um, buttons, you can also go ahead and customize your buttons. Um, for example, if you do long press, you can set it to a flashlight. So you can go ahead and hold down your home button to activate the flashlight. And you'll have to uh, hold it again to turn it off. There you go. And some more stuff here. Battery level around the lock ring. A custom wallpaper. Eight slider shortcuts. You can go ahead and set up to eight different shortcuts uh, if you want. Slider torch, you can also enable torch uh, by holding down the center button when you have that enabled. Now this one will turn off when you let go of the button, so a little bit different than setting a shortcut. Uh, lock screen notification, this is where you can disable it also. Pocket mode also is another um, way to show notifications when you take it out of your pocket. I usually have just the lock screen notification on. I usually turn these off, but these were actually um, on by default on this ROM. And this is where you can go ahead and set those eight slider shortcuts to your favorite uh, custom 
icons, applications, uh, and whatnot. And uh, once you set them, they'll instantly appear here, obviously, and you can go to straight to your uh, camera there. Let me go ahead and clear all this out real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and go into some other settings here. Um, what else is there? Persistence. All right, Pi. Uh, if you want Slim Pi, you can go ahead and enable this. Maybe make sure you change the trigger to wherever you want it to appear. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna have to go here. And also you can go ahead and set different shortcuts for all the buttons. Um, so all these buttons can be changed um, to custom app that you want uh, or any kind of shortcut you want and boom I have a calendar there now so very nice stuff slim pie and also power menu here um, you can go ahead and add screenshots screen recording uh, more cool stuff there so you will be able to easily um, record your screen and it's actually now recording my screen and let me go ahead and stop it there um, status bar some more stuff you can do here you can go ahead and change the battery icon yeah that looks horrible uh, with percentage and make it a little bit brighter so you can see it a little bit better uh, or we can do get rid of the battery and enable a battery bar in the status bar there and make that yellow um, that kind of saves space so you can put more cool stuff uh, let me see here clock what I like to do with the clock is I like to put it in the center um, also AM PM I like to show it in small size and also date um, sometimes I forget what day today is so that really helps for those of you like me double tap to sleep that's what it is right there and uh, status bar brightness slider show notification count um, slide uh, you can use the brightness bar there and also you can go ahead and add the network speeds there. Now without the battery icon, you can see that you have more space. Now you, it does make sense to put more stuff like network speeds, which can help you identify any rogue apps that's running and using your internet in the background, um, all that good stuff. Um, some more stuff there, quick settings. This is where you can, um, you can see now it's only showing me my notifications. I have to actually use two fingers. Perhaps you only have one finger or you chopped off one of your fingers then you can go ahead and enable this to the right or left now if you go right you'll get your quick settings left notifications and also if you enable smart pull down no dismissible um, it's gonna show you uh, the normal way but if you have no notifications it's always gonna show you the quick settings so that's what the smart uh, one is and also you can go ahead and customize all of your different buttons here add more buttons battery saver mode um, all that good stuff there. Uh, the only thing missing, um, shake events and some other stuff like app circle bar, which I really like, uh, but not a huge problem. And this is, you know, probably the best ROM right now with Android 4.4.4, everything working out of the box. Now there is an issue with performance. I think, um, the per per performance menu on this ROM is sort of funky. Um, I wouldn't use it. Uh, actually go ahead and download the trickster mod app on the play store. Go ahead and grab this, and I like it better. Um, go to general here, uh, where you can set the uh, min and max. Now the minimum frequency is 192, but if you want to get slightly better performance, um, because this is an older phone, and you do need, you know, sometimes you need a little bit uh, overclocking on the minimum end side, uh, without actually overclocking, really. Um, you, I really set, you know, the minimum to 40, uh, 432 megahertz or 486, and set max to the max, which is 1.5 gigahertz. Um, that seems to have improved my performance uh, quite a bit. Um, you know, very, very fast. I like that. And also make sure you hit that uh, button there. That will apply it. And also if you want to set it on boot, make sure you set kernel settings on there. And that's all you really need to do. Um, if you're not getting uh, the best battery life on this setting, although you should, because you know we didn't really overclock it, we only raised the minimum. Um, you can go ahead and try uh, putting the minimum back down to I think 192 megahertz. But overall, very very nice ROM, very nice set of customizations. Um, you should find everything working out of the box on this ROM. Uh, also, camera working very well uh, versus some of the 4.3 ROMs, 4.4.2 ROMs. Um, the camera was a little bit funky with video recording, but not on this one. Um, definitely check it out for this week's ROM week if you have a T-Mobile Galaxy S2. 
And as always, if you have Galaxy S2, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxys2root.com. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.